Time for an unsolicited blind man. Ramadan bite. <laughs> Greetings, infidel. This is Mohammed Khashu, and I have borrowed satanic unsolicited blind man computer and accounts for special Ramadan roundup. Muslims have much to be thankful for this Ramadan because much progress has been made in United States of America. State Department of our friend and brother Barack Hussein Obama has recognized that Ramadan is a special time and has done many things to help us, such as work on deal with Iran, which will allow them to obtain atomic bomb very soon and destroy Israel. Also, according to the Jakarta Post, the United States Embassy in Indonesia celebrated the 4th of July. But on the 4th of June, out of respect for Ramadan. Within America itself, your Supreme Court has upheld Obamacare. This will assist Muslims greatly in ongoing efforts to promote female genital mutilation. This along with our use of Planned Parenthood to abort female babies, will help our cause tremendously. Also, your Supreme Court has upheld Great Barack Hussein Obama's governmental plan to put affordable housing everywhere his government wants. This will aid in our struggle to insinuate ourselves into all of your communities so that you, the kafir, cannot hide from the sound of the call to prayer in our mosques, from our Sharia patrols, and most importantly, Muslim men will have easier access to your daughters, wives, and any other kafir female they might desire. We are also most grateful to Allah for the Department of Justice under our friend and brother Barack Hussein Obama, which is ensuring that mosque be built in every town we desire, giving our imam more opportunity on a wider scale to promote our ideology and to recruit new members as soldiers of Allah. And I would be remiss if I did not thank the establishment media of United States of America for its continued support of our kinetic jihad by calling attacks, lone wolf incident, and distortions of Islam. American elite media and well-persuaded politicians have helped much in the progress of Islam in this year, in the way I mentioned before, and in efforts like the official and cultural ban of the Confederate flag. It is a reminder that there was once slavery in United States of America. True followers of Muhammad do not wish to see this symbol, want to see this symbol banned and disappear, so that when we take over, American kafir will not believe that there is anything they can do about slavery to their new masters, the followers of Islam. And now I must go. Satanic unsolicited blind man is coming back, and I have my eye on a new alluring little goat in my neighborhood. <laughs> so thank you again to American progressives, American establishment media, and our greatest benefactor, Barack Hussein Obama. The peace of Allah be upon you. As followers of Muhammad say to Skurgar, I'll be seeing you soon. This has been an unsolicited blind man, Ramadan Bite. <laughs>